Our mass Singer Detective Kyle is now 44-0 with his prediction. The Russian Dolls were eliminated and ended up being American Brothers. And today, we challenge Kyle to predict the one character that might ruin his winning streak. Let's get it! Hi, I'm Mel. And I'm Kyle. And welcome to the Talent Recap Show. All right, you guys, it was another great week on The Masked Singer. Kyle, usually I would ask you how you're feeling, but I actually saw you this weekend, so I know you're feeling great after seeing me. <laughs> I am, and you know, it was another fun week on The Masked Singer. It's really coming down to it. We saw a pretty crazy reveal with one of the front runners I thought for this season, the Russian Dolls being unmasked. The Russian Dolls were unmasked, and once again, Kyle, you are now 44 and 0. You predicted them to be the boy band group Hanson, and once again, you were correct. How are you feeling about that? And it was, you know, again, I was shocked to see them go home, but happy to see that I'm keeping my record going strong. Listen, you've been keeping this record going strong pretty, pretty well. It's been like 300 seasons of The Masked Singer. We have The Masked <laughs> Dancer. You haven't gotten any incorrect. But I think it's time for us to officially challenge you, Kyle. This is going to be one of the hardest predictions, and this is not even a request. It's more of a demand. Everybody wants to know who Cloodle Doo is. I mean, you got all those other contestants down packed, but Cloodle Doo is the one who has barely any clues, basically. Came out of nowhere. I don't know who this COVID character is, but Kyle, <laughs> you have to tell us. Do you know who it is, or are you prepared to reveal who that is? I am ready to reveal who Cloodle Doo is tonight. Ooh, okay, you guys, he's feeling pretty confident. Let me flip my card upright so we can get everything right today. <laughs> All right, Kyle, let us know, who is the Cloodle Do? Well, we're going to start by debunking some of the rumors. So first of all, you know, we saw this first predictions night from Nicole that the Cloodle Do is Joel McHale. Joel We've McHale. also seen that a lot in our comments from Stacey Adams, from Mindy Mathis. And we're going to debunk that rumor first. So... One of the things is, you know, he gave this clue about that you've seen him in the kitchen before, which could be a clue pointing to The Soup, which was the, the show that Joel McHale hosted. He obviously also has a big tie to Mass Singer. He's been on it many times. But actually, the fact that he's been on it so many times is what rules him out from being Cloodle Do. Because on the Mass Singer podcast, one of the producers came on and said that Cloodle Do was someone who has never been on the show before. So just because of that, we have to say, that the rumor that Joel McHale is Cloodle Do is debunked. Definitely debunked. Now, yep. Now the second rumor we have to debunk is Robin's guess from tonight, which was that Cloodle Do is Jamie Fox. That's gonna be Jamie now Fox. Ag again. They can't get enough of guessing Jamie Fox for all of these characters, and so it make it would make sense because he's been guessed so many times, and he does have a connection to one of the remaining contestants, specifically Chameleon, who's Wiz Khalifa. Uh, Jamie Foxx has done a song with him before. So that would all check out. But just like we said in the last one, Jamie Foxx has been a guest panelist before on The Masked Singer. And also he doesn't have any conne any connection to Mickey Rourke, who was the gremlin. And Cloodle Dew specifically said that he had connection to the gremlin. So because of those things, we have to say that that rumor is debunked. Can I just say, what is the obsession with having Jamie Foxx on The Masked Singer? It's like every season we go through this. I swear we have a good like two episodes per season <laughs> referencing to Jamie Foxx. You guys, it is not him. But Kyle, continue. All right, so now let's get into who Cloodle Do is. Now this is someone who's never been on the show before. Someone who has a connection to the Gremlin because they actually starred in a movie with Mickey Rorick named Bullet, and then they also have a connection to one of the remaining contestants at the time they said that, and that was Robopine, who was revealed to be Tyrese, and this person was in the movie Annapolis with Tyrese, and that means that Cloodle Do is... Drum roll. Drum roll. Donnie Wahlberg. Kyle, that totally makes sense. Like, thinking about that last clue, it hit the nail on the head for me. And Jenny definitely wants her man on set with her, finally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, one thing that you have to think about in this is getting Donnie Wahlberg on the show in this capacity definitely makes sense because if he was actually a contestant, Jenny would recognize him right away. Like, there's no way that they could get around that. And so this is kind of a fun way that they can play around with them. Mm -hmm. We even saw, you know, Cloodle Do and... 
uh, Jenny like joking with each other, you know, like she talked about how annoying he was and he kind of challenged her. So they even have this little banter that we can see, but let's go through some of the clues and how we figured out that Cloodle Doo is Donnie Wahlberg. So one of them, in addition to what we already listed, he talks about how you've seen him in the kitchen before and Donnie Wahlberg has a restaurant chain called Wahlburgers. Uh, He also talked about uh, a jigsaw puzzle at one point and Donnie Wahlberg is has had a role on the Saw movies so that also makes sense he specifically called out Ken Ken Jong and said that he should know who he is and they started the movie Zookeeper together so a lot of co-stars going on in the Mass Singer universe Uh, and then tonight he mentioned he called the panelists dum-dums and that is just a small little clue other clues that he said like before he confused drumstick with drum roll and that can be like a chicken pun but this dum dum clue stood out to me because it doesn't have anything to do with chickens and i think it alludes to uh an interview that he did in the early 2010s on the jenny mccarthy show where he and jenny mccarthy were like sucking on lollipops while doing this interview and that was like when it kind of started to be rumored that they were dating And so I think that's another very subtle clue that points to Donnie Wahlberg. And all of that really points to him being Cluedo Dew. Kyle, I mean, it's giving 45 and O vibes over here to me. (laughs) I just feel like everybody's always suspected him to be on the show eventually. Why not have him now as Cluedo Dew? It makes total sense. Exactly. But let's hear in the comments below. Do you guys agree with me? I mean, am I right? There's still guesses for Joel McHale coming in every week, but hopefully we debunk that. We want to hear who you guys think Clue will do this. And if you guys have any more clues that lead to Donnie, let us know in the comments below. We, of course, want to hear it. All right, you guys, I think it's time for us to wrap up this week's episode. Let everybody know where they can find you on social. Yeah, it's came on pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And then you could find me at double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E, but make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, at Talent Recap on all platforms. You are on YouTube right now, so just click that subscribe button. And I think it's time for us to say, and that's our Talent Recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below, and then we can talk.